Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, in lieu of Easter on Sunday, thought I'd do a pick an egg, pick a card, Easter read. Um, I mean, most people probably won't click on it if it's after Easter, <laughs> but it's still a timeless read. So, if you ever feel drawn, you might have to come back and watch it again because some of it might resonate more so than what it did when you first watched it. Keep in mind it could pertain to your past, your present, or your potential near future. Not only just talking about you, but people and situations around you as well. So, group one, group two, group three. They're so pretty. They're just these little silly styrofoam eggs that I got from Dollar General. But, um, this one's like peach and blue. It's really color pretty. Actually, it kind of matches my, uh... <laughs> my background here and then we've got crystals focus if you'd rather go by that aesthetic card and then we've got this cute little speckled egg kind of reminds me of like a robin's egg i guess or a blue jay egg and then we've got fire passion and then we've got this sweet little peach and yellow they're just a lot prettier with the naked eye one two three on the timer and then we've got clouds shape shifting um I think they're just, I've got a few message cards here, but I think they're just going to have me pull, like, some from my tarot decks and stuff. So, actually, here's a deck that I love. It's one of my first decks. I'll go ahead and start with that and pull a few cards on camera. Believe you me, I don't, I don't take the time to go through here and go through each deck and try to synchronize the stuff. Usually, when I don't shuffle on camera, though, is when <laughs> they're really like connect with each other super crazy and then oh goodness chachi yeah i think there's i'd like to get threes there's three groups and i like to have three cards for each group if i can sometimes it's only one but i guess it's kind of like an ocd thing for me that one went there Two more for group three, please. Thank you. One more. Couple more, I guess. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Lady of the Gift. Generosity, receiving, and withholding. So, some of you guys could be very generous. Maybe you guys are receiving a generous offer, and maybe you are withholding. If you have the means to be generous, but you are withholding. I don't think that's for very many people, though. Not very many people watch my stuff. Anyways, so... I'm going to have to turn this down. I've got some third eye chakra music in the background. All right. Well, now that I'm in the flow and I'm kind of connecting with these groups here. Ooh, I guess that's for group three. Something coming out for you, group three. And uh, that one's for group three, too, I guess. Um, if you're drawn to more than one group, that's fine as well. Also, if, you know, you click on one group and it's not really resonating the first three to five minutes in I'd say click on a different one or fast forward that 10 second timer a couple of times and see if you can't but usually the stuff that I try to get is what you resonate on the initial pick <clears throat> on the initial pick sometimes I've even gone to because I used to watch a ton of reads before I started doing this myself. And I would go and all the reads that were coming across my path were like over a year old. But they were still resonating for me. Like she, these people had made them for me that day. Like they were looking into my life. So I only strive to be as good as those ladies one day. Because they're, they're really good. And it's just fascinating to me. Blows my mind. I guess I got to get another card. I got three, three, and three, so we're going to be a little crowded here. All right, I'm going to come back with group one. Well, hello, group one. I did have to add my little prop here. I just glanced up and saw him look at me like, but you missed me. I'm the Easter bunny, and I got to be in your Easter read. Okay, <clears throat> it's like 10 o'clock at night, and things get weird whenever the sun goes down around here, so... You know, if you don't like it, I guess you can just go F off, maybe. I don't know. Um, 
Group one, focus. All right. Well, there's definitely a need to be focusing here because I have been really sporadic since I hit unpause for this after this. So, working with crystals. I know I'm, I, I, this message is for me as well. Like, I'm really bad to just, sure, I'll wear them and I'll carry them in my pocket. But there's so many other ways we can utilize them and, and use them. Like, um, if you're doing the chakra alignment or energy cleansing, or if you're having, you know, just working on one chakra at a time, getting maybe all, say, if you want to do your throat chakra, so getting all the blue crystals that you have and setting them next to the area where you are meditating or listening to that Reiki energy healing with the intention that, you know, that that's what you want these to do is to help with that. You can really amplify that healing with these crystals. Let's go ahead and read the book meaning. Because I feel like there's something there. Here we see an amethyst crystal cave bathed in the water from a river. Did you see? I had even put my, crystal, my amethyst over that. So I guess. Okay, anyways. With the points of light representing the spiritual force that these crystals beings, crystal beings generate. Amethyst, as well as other types of quartz crystals, have been used for thousands of years in magic and healing, as well as for intensifying psychic capabilities. Yeah, because it's purple and the crown chakra is depicted as purple. Since its violet color is the same color as the crown chakra. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I didn't even see that before I said that. It has often been referred to as a spiritual stone. So, okay, the, the um, amethyst also came out. There was a message about someone needing to use it. They were, um, maybe you have one. Uh, your spirit team is kindly nudging, kindly suggesting that you you use that mofo, okay? Use it to the best of its abilities. Um, I feel like it would help actually ground you as well. So if you're not big on going outside, hugging the tree, walking barefoot in the grass, uh, meditating on the root chakra, I think the amethyst would help you balance out that crown chakra. The nature of the quartz crystals, the second most common element in the earth's crust, is that they help focus the power of our life force or spirit. Where attention goes, power flows, and crystals magnify this power tenfold. Our intention influences where our intention our attention goes. So like I was saying a while ago about setting the intention whenever you set them out next to you to, to utilize them and use them. When we're consciously aware of our intention, it facilitates the focus of that spiritual power and supports the manifestation and material reality of that intention. So, I don't even know what I said on those last words, but what was coming to me was a reminder about the full moon coming up, and we're always super, super intuitive, super psychic around these uh, hardcore moon phases. The eclipses are fixing to start again. I think we have an eclipse in April as well. So, the whole year of 2022 is cosmically charged. It's just, it's fabulous, darling. It's just fabulous. Okay. Okay. Although it does get a little haywire, and sometimes I can't sleep, and I feel like I've had four cups of coffee. <sighs> sometimes you're super, super fatigued, super drowsy. You can't focus on stuff. It's it's different for everybody. Some people, unfortunately, get all the symptoms at once. It's just different for everybody. Let's see what this message is. <clears throat> what deck was this again? Okay, so I like this deck. It's called Keepers of the Light. And look there. She's the Amethyst Angel. There's Amethyst again. <laughs> Group one. There's your sign, my loves. There's your sign. Oh, you got Master Jesus with forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Well, that's interesting. And his bottom of his card is purple. So, Father healing... If you're not really having any, if you have a close relationship with your father right now, this could stem from a past life. Actually, you'll hear me shuffling in the background. It helps me channel a little bit. Um, I'm actually getting in touch with <laughs> earlier this saying came to mind and I think there's actually an oracle card out there that says this it says sky daddy <laughs> it 
so like getting back in touch with Jesus or Buddha or God or whomever it was that you were so, you know, you really, really thought you had a good relationship and maybe it's just kind of fallen away. Um, there's maybe a sense of forgiveness needed to yourself for, you know, falling off that path or what, however you're seeing it. Blue lotus flowers here too. Oddly though, he's got blue in his heart chakra and blue is usually the throat chakra. So there could be, if you're having problems with your throat chakra or having problems communicating your thoughts, feelings, emotions, your truth, you, you, you might need, um, some energy clearing in the heart chakra as well because as Sonia Choquette says the throat chakra is the chimney to the heart chakra and it really helps that flow okay once you get those uh spirit those centers open the chakras and everything they all like mesh together and they all flow like they all really go in the ebb and flow <clears throat> these three okay oh my gosh look at that heart light yeah heart light your heart light, you might really be emotional here lately, feeling whole senses of gratitude and joy and just like um, tears of joy is coming to mind. Tears of joy. Opportunity. We're going to put that down here. Oh, wow. Heart's desire. So I'm going to get some clarity cards for these as well. The number five here. Well, it says 23, so 23 or 5. <clears throat> Number 5 signifies chin, chin, chin. And we've got a, a lot of heart signs, too. So you might be seeing, and this kind of looks like a heart right here in these clouds, too. So you might be seeing the heart shape quite a bit. That's your sky daddy sending you love. <laughs> or your spirit team, however you would like to say that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look, we got a purple card ambition okay there is ambition igniting within you that could probably go over heart's desires finding new ambition to speak your heart's desires go towards it you're going to have an opportunity it's like there's huge spotlight that's going to be put on you <clears throat> and uh you might surprise yourself on what you're going to say <clears throat> you might feel like you not in a million years would be put in that place and spoke spoken your truth at that moment, but I think it's going to happen. We've got new ideas also. A lot of purple here, y'all. A lot of purple. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Curiosity and self-victimization, but... Okay, that's going over the forgiveness here. <coughs> that might be... Yeah, forgiving yourself on something. You might not even sense that right now. Like, what what the hell do I need to forgive myself for, Sarah? You might you might not be feeling that, but something in your heart you need to you need to release and forgive yourself on. And that could be per stemming from a past life as well. But we've got curiosity, so I think I've definitely piqued your curiosity. Look at all this. Okay, all these cards are not purple. Okay, I just I just have to show you these. Okay, right, right. You see that? Mm-hmm. They're not all purple. Purple, purple. Okay, so it's something that's really weighing heavy on your heart. You Okay, if it's really bur a burden on your heart, you're oh, very aware of this. It's part of your cycles. Okay, I know that says the Wheel of Fortune, but I'm going with the word here. This is the Ten of Swords, too, in Tarot. So that's really like up in the mental, like a lot of worry. Anything else out of this deck? No, we're going to go to these cards. The Prison Wave. Self-sabotage and poverty consciousness. Oh, Self-victimization. You're like really downcasting yourself here, group one. You're really, really downcasting yourself. You gotta stop. You gotta stop that. Be open to receiving that angelic help and miraculous aid, though. I think that's the miraculous aid is that speaking maybe it does it might not even have anything to do with speaking your truth though for some people if you're at wondering if god or jesus or whomever forgive you of course they forgive you there was nothing ever to forgive because they do not judge they do not hold judgment against us they do not have shame for us all they have is pure authentic true blue love unconditional 
discipline, armor, and boundaries. So I feel like the armor is coming off of that heart here. I'm really trying to get these cards. So let's see what other messages for group one. This is regarding a gentleman. And then I've got the graveyard, which usually signifies endings. It might be something that you would have thought you would, like, I I'm going to hold that info to my grave. You know what I mean? This doesn't mean that anybody's going to die, okay? So please don't get... I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't prophesize that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Can we get another card with this situation? Maybe that one. Hold on, hold on. What deck did you just show me? Okay, they showed me a regular tarot. Oh, wow. Okay, the Four of Cups. So, yearning, disillusion, and boredom. Maybe you're a little bored with the person and you would never let them know that though. <laughs> that might not be the case though. Okay, so I see this cup here coming out of the clouds. The original four of cups is a hand coming out holding a cup out of the clouds like this kind of, but it's holding a cup. <clears throat> and um, so, okay, one thing I noticed, we've got spirit handing you stuff here. Handing you these opportunities, giving you these ideas about something and helping you give, helping to give you the ambition. And I'm being drawn back over to this little sign here. Everybody welcome. Everybody is going to benefit from this. Be open to receiving, okay? It's going to be a decision, a choice, okay? We make choices every day, but please don't make this choice based out of fear is what they're saying. Don't fear the worst. Maybe that's what the grave card is. Like you fear the worst. Like you don't you don't want something. You're afraid if you do speak this truth, it's going to make something in your life end. A relationship, a job, you know. Could be anything. Can we get a final outcome for group one? We're going to take those three cards because they were trying to fall out. Oh, crikey. We've got four. Oh. Okay, there we've got the world we've got success and completion and we've got the magician skill and power in taking action in towards this king of cups look at this warm-hearted intuitive and empathetic so this person i feel like this person isn't how you i think you're going to be viewing them in a new light like right now you might not see this or maybe you're the only one that sees this in this person could be a Pisces, but we've got Charming over here as well. And then look, transformation and new beginnings, endings and change. So that's usually what I depict this card as. <sighs> Grounding. Get grounded. And there's actually an angel card over here too. <clears throat> and this is your final message, group one. Trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. This is great, group one. This is just validation that you you have a small, tight circle. Us women, we do like to be very, you know, we're very intuitive. We pick up vibes from people. And we're really good about keeping our circle small and anyways... So, if you don't have a big circle or even one a circle of one person, they're coming towards you, okay? Third eye, definitely. We've got a lot of intuition here, a lot of crown chakra going on, third eye chakra. We've got an eye over here as well. Let your friends help you as well as what I'm hearing here. Let your friends help you. Pay attention to the conversations that you're having too. Or actually I'm feeling like there may be a, 
uh, a conversation that's gone on around you that you weren't so much involved in, but it was happening while you were nearby, and there could be a message behind that, okay? So this is all I have for you, group one. I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. Love and light. Hey, group two. Oh, man, I knocked my little boonies over. All right, for those of you that chose this, this is almost like, almost feels real, too. <laughs> Very real-looking egg. Cute little speckle, speckle egg. Speckle little boom, boom. It's just boom, boom, sugar, boom, boom. Like I said before in group one, don't mind me. Shit gets weird after the sun goes down. You've got fire and passion coming in after potential grief, sorrow, or some sort of heartbreak, some sort of loss. Got strength on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I'm going to read you the book meaning it for this one. <sighs> Could be a fire sign. Could have fire placements. Could just like to play with fire. Pyromaniac. <laughs> reigniting passion though oh look there's eagle fire since the dawn of humankind we've been fascinated by fire as soon as early humans were able to make fire it changed our lifestyle dramatically though its capacity to generate heat and light fire made it possible to cook food stay warm in cooler climates and keep predators away at night and of course that huge furnace called the sun is the spark of life here on earth Bringing not only the necessary warmth of this incredibly huge ball of fire, but also life-giving rays of light emitted by that fire. Okay, so as I'm reading this and they're mentioning the sun, vitamin D comes to mind. So you may be low on vitamin D. I just got that message from my doctor the other day. <clears throat> I'm well aware of it. But it's been cold, man. <laughs> I need it to warm up. And you probably do too. I don't like... I don't know if you're you're like me, but once you get cold, it's really hard to warm back up. And I just, I don't like shivering either. It's, it's like a whole body workout for me. What are your passions? What turns you on? What ignites that inner flame, that creative spark? When you feel devoid of passion, consider what is missing in your life. It is most likely an absence of fire in your belly. Something that makes your heart beat faster and quickens. They're saying, please don't swallow the fire though, like these fire eaters do. <laughs> Passion is not something that comes from outside of you, although some events and circumstances can trigger it. It is an intensity of feeling, whether quietly experienced or enthusiastically expressed. Passion can simply be a strong feeling or the sensation itself can be so powerful that it motivates you to act. This is too often associated exclusively with sexuality, which is certainly one way of experiencing it. Yet it limits its meaning and demeans the broader possibilities. Open yourself to the truth of what you are passionate about and find a means to express it. I love that for you, group two. Finding the fire in your belly. Oh, yeah, there's a message here from the goddess deck. <clears throat> oh, look, Master Buddha. And that's so funny because there's so many fat, smiling Buddha statues out there. And they're talking about fire in your belly, right? Look, increased awareness. Deep connection, trust your inner voice, okay? So, full moon coming up, Saturday, I think, the night before Easter, right? Um, you're probably already feeling the energy right now here on the 14th, but is that the third eye symbol too? I think that's the third eye. So, a lot of intuitiveness, a lot of psychic, yeah, it's the third eye sigil, a lot of psychic... Um, energy going on around this full moon actually around any full moon and new moon it really um strengthens because i i feel like the veil is very thin around that time let's see what cards we got here Oh, no. Winter. I was just talking about it being cold and I'm, I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm ready for s s warmth. I'm ready for summer, not just spring. We're in the midst of spring right now. And spring is always still chilly sometimes and warmer other days. Could be 60 here in Oklahoma one day and with a, a freeze warning overnight and then 80 the next day. Martyr. There's a lot of white and gray here, guys. And believe. Okay, so give me a moment. 
give me a moment to try to um, pick up what Spirit's trying to put down here, if you don't mind. So it's funny that we've got winter and then we've got fire right here. And it was talking about, you know, fire helps you stay warm in the cold months. It's a long journey. Winter is like the longest season, right? It's longer than any of the other seasons, or it seems to be. It seems to drag on forever. I know a lot of people have uh, seasonal depression at that time, too. So you could be really trying to come out of that right now. Let's see what I feel here. We're just, I don't know why I want to switch those around, though. But also, there's a nice cozy cabin here, too. Maybe a nice little retreat, a winter getaway. Maybe in the warmer months here in the northern hemisphere, you're going to be visiting somewhere that would normally be, that would be colder. And we've got believe down here under passion. Believing in yourself, believing in your heart's desires, believing that they're not too big to obtain. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good idea. Okay, so get some clarity cards like you did for group one. <laughs> uh, me, myself, and I here. Ego, inner child, higher self. Oh, thank you. We've got exploration, okay? Exploration coming out under deep connection and trusting your inner voice. So, maybe trying to open up those abilities a little more. I don't get that for that card, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get a few more cards here. <clears throat> Can we get a clarity card for number seven, Martyr? Could be a sense of you feeling like you've got to keep going for your community, your family, your friends, your coworkers. Maybe you're the one that gets the brunt end of the work, or you feel like you have to do the work because of nobody else. You know, if I don't do the job, the job doesn't get done right. But that's a sense of control right there, right? And I feel like the message uh, released, letting go, the, releasing the need to control came out in the last pick a card. Let people help you. Ask for help. Let people do it on their own. There is great achievement. It's a seven of pentacles too. So materialistic needs are going to be met. <clears throat> achievement, opportunity. Okay, so by the winter months, um, if you're studying in something right now, I feel like the winter months are going to really be like you might be feeling a lull or a stagnancy in that area right now. Studying, training, learning. And in the winter months, I feel is like when's the um, your journey is going to lead you to opportunities. So whatever is going on right now will definitely be paying off by this winter. Okay, we've got walk away here. Some okay, your spirit team. Maybe you've got an increased sense of awareness on a situation and you're like, um, I think I need to walk away. I think I need to leave. I need to leave this community. I need to leave this job. I need to leave this class. But Spirit's definitely giving you a lot of inspiration. Igniting something going on here. There's a sense of needing to believe in yourself more though. And I've got charm. So when I see this card, I think like lucky charm or maybe you wear like a necklace that's got little charms on it. I guess that's not really a charm, but <clears throat> it's a necklace, right? <laughs> okay, let's put these cards over here. Let's see what's on this one. Trust and strategizing. So you're making new moves. You're making new moves by winter time. Definitely. Like, I feel like Spirit's saying maybe you've been wanting a time frame in, like, winter of this year. There's your time frame, okay? What, whatever question you were pondering on or whatever, it's that. But we've got the resting tree for patience and stillness, master number 22. 
this could be a time for patience and stillness. It's like uh, like a bear hibernating in the summer for the winter months. Like things might be a little slow moving because it's not time for it to pick up for you yet. Those opportunities aren't ready to present themselves to you. Things, other things behind the scenes have to take place. Other events and stuff. And then we've got integrity and compromise. The wise woman of Wonderland. There's that white rabbit. We've got two number three cards here. having this newfound sense of integrity for yourself i feel and maybe you didn't realize it but not being the martyr anymore maybe you realize that it is unnecessary for you to do all the things that you thought you had to do go and do you know whether it's you know doing running errands for people or whatever the work situation or whatever it is the Queen of Wands. And we've got Creativity, Leader, and Focus. So, yeah, having a look at her third eye. <laughs> having a new sense of integrity for yourself. Really honing and standing in your power. And this is a fire sign here, too. And then we've got Two of Cups. And look at this eye down here. Wow, you guys. Harmony, Peace, Partnership. Okay, so there's a sense of needing to have patience and stillness and within a partnership. Oh my gosh, look at this. I showed you guys. I showed you guys my necklace, right? And look, he's wearing a necklace that says love on it. I love it. I love the synchronicities. You can't see it though. Can you focus please? Hello. I just, I want you to see it, okay? There it is. Boom. <sighs> Partnership. I see the eye too. Alright, lost card for trust and strategizing. Ooh, career and beginnings and travel. So, there's a lot. So, this could be a career or uh, steps towards a career in the winter months for... A new beginning in a career. I'm feeling like I see that snake too, and I'm feeling like the Kundalini energy here too. A time for rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is validating like what I was saying about like hibernating during the summer for the winter instead of hibernating during the winter for the summer. Or also, winter of last year, there's a sense of, you know, when spring comes around, it's Renewal, rebirth, new beginnings. Wake up, sleeping beauty. Some sort of closure coming in for you, too, or around something. Some kind of closure around. Ah, okay, hold on. Yeah, completion, rewards, success. Ending of a, a shadow a shadow work cycle. Could be coming out of a dark night of the soul, too. With this ten of swords with the four of swords. There's that snake again. There's a snake again. So, snakes are good omens. You could be dreaming about snakes as well. And then in the end, you've got uh, union and freedom. Four of wands. It's funny because most people say this card depicts celebration. So good things are still coming. And this too shall pass for this situation here, okay? Patience, resting, patience, resting, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, we've got the fool again. Talking about new beginnings, innocence, and taking risks. Alright, group two, this is all I have for you. I hope it helps. hope it resonated. Happy Easter. Until next time, love and light. Hello, group three. For those of you that chose the um, clouds shape shifting or this pretty little, pretty little egg here, they're so pretty. It's like so funny with me and my inner child. She loves sparkly, pretty, colorful stuff, and I could just sit here and meditate on this for freaking five minutes, probably. Because you know, five minutes to an inner child is like five freaking years. <laughs> 
Alright. So I'm going to read you the book meaning for that one because I did all the other groups. Clouds. Watching the clouds go by. That country song is coming to hit. Mind. I miss Mayberry sitting on the porch drinking ice cold cherry coke. In both subtle and more dramatic ways, you can shape shift by your choice of clothing, hairstyles, adornments, and even mannerisms such as facial expression, gestures, and the way you walk. By adjusting these along with your internal attitude, you can actually display different personas. When you experiment with these variations of self-expression that are not how you ordinarily present yourself, others will react to you depending on the degree in which your persona contrasts with the one they are most familiar with. Be like the clouds as you try out different forms, stretching your limits at times, willing to move and adjust as necessary. As I'm saying this, there's some sort of message coming through that it's okay if you feel... I feel like group three, you might not be feeling like yourself. There's a lot of timeline shifting going on, quantum leaping, you know, there's a lot of cosmic energy, solar flares off the sun. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff going on <coughs> up there. It's okay, and you might find yourself feeling different around certain groups of people. Say you feel different around family or you act differently around family than you do your friends. Maybe you're different at school or at work as opposed to your home life. Lift your head up, square your shoulders, and stand tall that your chest and heart open to the world. And note how this feels. Kind of like a, a superhero pose. You ever seen Grey's Anatomy where they do the super, superhero pose? Then let your shoulders fall forward slightly. Pull your chest inward an inch or two and let your head drop a little and observe how this feels. Experiment with contracting your aura, then expand it as far as and comfortably as you can. By this kind of shape-shifting, you can constant, consciously... Choose your expression into the world. Just remember who you are at the core. So, and finding your true authentic self, I feel like someone here is going to be going through, like, uh, like testing out different personas. Like, I, whenever I was going through my awakening, I'm still going through it. I'm like, I never stop learning and healing and growing, right? But anyways, I would be, I was super drawn to like tie dye tie-dye everything I was like oh it's so cool you know I was like really drawn to like the hippie era stuff too old school bell bottoms and then I went into a, a stint where I was really nostalgic and drawn to my like 90s alternative grunge days as well like wearing my cropped shirts with a flannel over and my baggy cargo pants with my adidas <laughs> like I don't know, and then sometimes I dress like an old lady. I have more of a, I like florals. It's just, it's strange. It just, it's off and on, and, and it and it changes. And even sometimes you might be waking up and looking in the mirror thinking you don't look like yourself too. That's very normal, okay? There's like, oh, okay. It's normal. <laughs> Let's stop there. All right, we got cards to do. Ooh, Isis. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming a reality. Stay focused. If you're coming from group one, I'm not surprised because group one's card was focused, I do believe. Look at this third eye and crown chakra stuff going on. You could be seeing the symbol, the onk symbol. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, the Holy Spirit coming in with Isis. That's a powerful uh, pairing right there. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. By this message, remember that only love is real. When there's any kind of a thing that comes in, when you're wanting to express yourself through how you dress, how you're doing your makeup, you're wanting to change it up. When your ego starts to kind of say, hey... What do you think people are going to say because we're acting so different or we're wearing something out of the norm? That is when we go back to only love is real, only love is real, only love is real. Thank you for your input, ego, but we're going to take a back seat today. <clears throat> I feel like group three, you're catching. You're, you're, you're catching on to that ego talk. It's got a cup in front of him, too. Right over his heart center. And it's got wings on it. 
So your heart center is really lifting off, really opening. Also your th throat chakra too. There was mention of those in the other groups as well. <clears throat> Let's see what these cards are. Ooh, look, a new beginning. Look at that little baby. New beginnings coming in. Getting ready for it. But they are a mystery. What lies before you is being held a mystery on purpose from spirit. Okay, this could be really driving you crazy. But this was in reverse. And I'm going to leave this fucker in reverse. Okay. You're coming out of that. <laughs> because you're going to start expecting miracles. You're not going to start keep fearing the worst. Because this is what we do to ourselves. When we're constantly worrying and focusing on things we don't want to happen in our life. That's what happens. We put ourselves in our own mental prison. And you know, there are days where we're going to be there. Uh, we're still human. We still have ego. We still have emotions. Sometimes it's really hard to get out of it. Trust me, I know. I like to meditate and medicate with Elevate. I'm cannabis friendly, so that's another thing. Uh, where did you come from, bug? There's a little bug flying around in here. Uh, also, if you do partake, you're cannabis friendly. Being mindful about how you're setting your intention before you smoke. If you're in this mindset and you don't set the intention that you're, whenever you smoke, it's going to help clear it, 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 it's not, it might not be helping, it might be amplifying it, okay? Also pay attention to your caffeine intake because caffeine fuels anxiety hard. So maybe trying to cut back. It's hard, I know, believe me. But getting like uh, maybe tea instead of like the hard, the coffee or energy drinks or supplements. Yeah, look, as I'm talking about t t toning down on the caffeine intake, rest yeah, really restricting yourself. Maybe there's something you it's okay for you to indulge in too, but you've been restricting yourself. Oh, so this could be for someone who's not really been ever cannabis friendly. I feel like there's some, since I'm mentioning that, there's some sort of something you need to unlearn about that. It's not, <laughs> it's not of the devil. It's not, it's not bad. It comes from the earth. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Marijuana grows from the dirt, right? Crystals are formed in the earth too. Too many cards, but shadow work, the moon. <sighs> Group two had something about shadow work. Clarity card for the prison card. Oh, wow. Efficiency. So finding some form of efficiency in your thinking patterns. Catching yourself. Yeah, you're becoming really, really efficient in it emotional maturity so knowing i like that for you i like that crown right there yes so be gentle with yourself as you go through this transition as you're coming out of shadow work if you aren't sure what that is google has a tons of articles about it but you could either be fixing to go into doing shadow work maybe you came out of dark night of the soul maybe you're coming out of shadow work it's a smooth transition, though. Yeah, you've got a lot of resilience. And it's like... Fight or flight mode. But this could be shadow work done over... An old relationship, a marriage, a toxic relationship. Having to unlearn everything you thought you knew about having a relationship. Unlearning everything that you thought entailed love. With marriage. You've got a lot of major arcana here though. We've got the moon, the hierophant, and the devil. Collaboration. 
ambition, seeking the truth. I'm putting those cards up though. I forgot I've got more cards right here. <laughs> Dreams, the collective good, illusions. Okay, so could be having a lot of vivid dreams. But I feel like this is a friendly reminder for those who are empathic. You are, when we're up in our head about a lot of stuff, you know how many millions of Americans around us are consuming caffeine and amping up their anxiety? So it's fueling that energy hardcore. And I feel like for some, you might really be up in your head about stuff and it's not all of yours. So stepping out of that collective consciousness, thank you. Thank you, angels, for helping me direct my thoughts elsewhere. Thank you, angels, for helping me stay heart-centered right now. Thank you, angels, for releasing me of what is not mine and what no longer serves me. I release it with love and compassion and grace. Look at this. We got love, nature, beauty, fertility. The crown of stars. Look at that. The Diamond Dreamer. Another dream card. You know, I never realized that there were a couple of different cards in here and depicting about dreams. But look, material wealth, true prosperity. Uh, I, I think this is the group I mentioned about your materialistic needs would be met. I don't remember. The Well Watcher, wisdom, power of the divine. You're being given power of the, you have the power of the divine. And look, we've got six, seven, eight here. Number synchronicity. So that's telling them Spirit's letting you know that you are taking the correct steps. You are following your intuition towards something. I just got super thirsty all of a sudden. And then we've got the River Queen. Yeah, flow, letting go, natural movement. You're letting it go. This is what you're transitioning into, Group 3. Following, you know, you're, you're really connected with your higher self, I feel. Following that inner guidance. Manifesting the shit out of some things. Sometimes I get a little concerned. I'm like, I get a little confused. I'm like, did I manifest that or was that a psychic vision I'd had? Was it a psychic vision or did I manifest it? Oh yeah, see, you're really, you've really been in the head a lot. Ang anxiety, worry, some sleepless nights, some stuff that are really weighing heavily on your mind. And the Ten of Wands. A lot of burdens, overload. So there's that collective good coming in here. It's okay. You'll be okay, though, because you've got a lot of resilience. And coming into some emotional maturity. Your King of Pentacles coming at you. And the Hierophant. <sighs> Structure, wisdom, knowledge. Someone could be a little more intuitive than you thought. Your, your divine counterpart. Our masculine energies. I know my honey. Like sometimes he's like really on point and he's even like his abilities around certain times like the moon cycles are really strong like he walked into taco mayo one day not a soul was in there but he heard someone say my name's steven and i'm okay and he he was interacting with um the spirit of one of the ladies that worked there her her son i do believe that's what i had picked up intuitively Though she denied she knew anyone named Steve or Steven, I could see the recognition and the and the fright in her eyes. It kind of spooked her. So law and order come into the situation. And four of pinnacles. Stability foundation. You're not gonna shake the foundation on that. Guys are really resilient, too. Like, some stuff I'm, like, kind of leery about saying to Jeff, but then he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. So understanding, man. Sometimes we underestimate our guys, huh? Final outcome for group three, please. Let's get a final outcome with this. 
justice. Balance, equality, justice. And then, well, why did that one come out? Okay, so they had me look at the bottom of the deck. Then we've got the Six of Cups, Harmony, Reconciliation. This was defensive and debate competition. So there's like a reconciliation from maybe you were uh, on the outs with a friend or coworker or somebody or a family member, but there's reconciliation here. And I'm noticing that she's got, I don't know why I'm pointing this out, but she's got red hair and then she's got brown hair. This could be a blended family as well. Step siblings. Oh yeah, that kind of hits home. <laughs> Our, our kid, our, my, my, me and my honey's girls, I don't even think I said that grammar correctly. They get along really well. And you've got the power and the skill to do those manifestings, the magic manifesting. Look, there you are. If you're wondering who to work with, work with Isis. She's calling your name, baby. And then we've got the Six of Wands. Why do I keep pulling cards? I think I'm tired. But triumph, victory, and glory in all any situation that you guys are wanting to go through, okay? You'll always make the right decision. This is based on your stuff for that time, okay? This is all I have for you, group three. It really turned out to be a mess, but you know, that's okay. I'm going to go smoke and go to bed, probably. Happy Easter to all and love and light.